when he became president of Uganda, Sir Edward Mutesa II, this was the official car in which he traveled. After his Oscar in the 1966 attack on the Rubiri Palace and his subsequent exile to Britain, Mutesa's property was left to rot. Among these properties was a collection of four Rolls Royce cars, two of which were privately owned, the other belonged to his office as the King of Buganda, and the fourth was the official car of the President of Uganda. Two of the vehicles would later resurface in the early 2000s. The presidential Rolls Royce was taken to the museum, while the King's official Rolls Royce is reportedly in the hands of a private collector. Today, those who have longingly waited for the return of their king's cars will heave a sigh of relief because one of the cars was received by Mutesa's son, Prince David Wasaja, at a ceremony presided over by tourism minister, retired Colonel Tom Butime. We hope that the kingdom will keep it as a very important memorial treasure and will provide access to the rest of Ugandans for viewing and enjoyment. This vehicle uh, is of uh, great significance to the kingdom. It has uh, emotional attachments by the Kavaka, the royal family, and the kingdom in general. So we thought it befitting to have it at Bulange. The car was immediately towed to the kingdom headquarters, where the Prime Minister of the Kingdom, Charles Peter Maiga, was on hand to receive it. Uganda is responsible for the whereabouts of the other three Rolls Royces. And given the fact that the Kabaka was the one who was riding this vehicle as president, and given the circumstances under which the kingdom was abolished, I think it's a noble gesture on part of the president and his cabinet to resolve and return it to the Kabako of Bugan, and I thank him very much. Maiga promised to refurbish the Rolls Royce for his King Ronald Mwindam Tebi's official use. It's a very expensive car, of course, but I'm sure we shall be able to restore its state so that it can move again. I will announce the arrangements there is also a fifth vintage Bentley, which reportedly belonged to Mtesa's wife, Lady Damalich Sosonkoli, which the kingdom says was spotted in South Africa and efforts are on hand to recover it. According to experts, it will cost the kingdom a fortune to restore this car, but as the kingdom mobilizes resources for this job, the car will once again occupy space in its former home at Mengo Palace for public viewing. Solomon Kawesa, NTV.